Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue our discussion of bar plots in Seaborn. If you haven't watched the previous videos of this playlist, I will have a link to them in the description box below. The first thing that we have to do as usual is import uh, the necessary dependencies. Here I have imported numpy, seaborn, pandas and pyplot. Let me execute that. And the next thing we are going to do is uh, load our data set, which is the tips data set into the notebook. We can do this using the load data set function of seaborn. Then I will take a sneak peek at the data set using the head function of pandas. Okay, here I have drawn a very simple bar plot of the total bill versus uh, the day. Now let us look at what the estimator attribute is. Uh, the numbers on the y axis in our case are aggregated in terms of the mean by default. But what if we have to change this to something like aggregation in terms of median? We can do this using the estimator attribute. Let me show you. So let me and let me specify it as np.median. Since we have already imported the numpy library into our notebook, we can use the median function of numpy uh, and assign it to the estimator. Now the y-axis is aggregated in terms of the median instead of the mean. Okay, now uh, let me copy this bar fast here and remove this. Okay, now let's come to the question of what are these black bars? So these black bars uh, basically represent the confidence intervals for the particular bar. The top of the bar represents the mean and the black bars around it represent the confidence interval. These bars are also known as error bars. So confidence intervals are a range of values in which we are fairly confident that the statistical measure like mean or median lies in. If you want to know more about confidence intervals, I'll have a couple of videos linked in the description below. You can watch that. Although the error bars for uh, some of the bins here are symmetric, it need not be the case always. Sometimes the error bars may also represent the standard deviation. We can also set the confidence interval values to anything of our choice using the ci attribute of seaborn so let me do that and set it to something like 60 and now the you can see that the error bars become smaller we can also put two horizontal bars on one above uh, on the top of the error bar and one below that is uh, in the on the end of the error bar using the cap size attribute so let me copy this again and paste it over here and let me specify the cap size as let's say 0 0.3 and now you can see that we have two horizontal bars one on top of the error bar and one on below you can also specify to make all the bins of a particular color using the color attribute which is in present in seaborn so let me copy this again let me remove ci and specify the color as let's say green and now you can see that all the bins of our plot have become green in color you can also specify the saturation value of uh, the particular bins so this is very simple to do you have to specify the saturation as one of the attributes and set it to something like 0 0.4 for example now you can see that our bins have become a shade of uh, dark green. If you specify it something like a higher value like 0 0.7, uh, they become a little lighter. So as you increase the saturation level, the color of the bins becomes lighter or darker depending on the number which you specify over here. Okay, the last thing that we are going to look in this tutorial is how we can save the plots which you have made in our notebook as a PNG file or a JPEG file so that we can paste it in some of our PowerPoint presentations and show it to our employer or our business owner. To do this, uh, we have to uh, basically type in three lines of code which are very simple. So the first thing is we have to store our plot in a variable. This is quite simple to do. So 
let me use the same example as above let me keep the day on the x-axis and on the y-axis the total bill and the data is tips okay the next thing we have to do is load this plot and save it in our notebook first before saving it in our drive to do this we can use the sns plot dot get figure function of seaborn okay now the plot has been saved in our notebook now let us go ahead and save it in our disk this is also quite simple to do uh, we can use the save fig function of seaborn and we have to give a name to our picture so let me give a simple name like plot.png uh, there is some error here okay now it's saved so you have to use uh, save fig without the underscore and now if we go and check and you can see that uh, the place where our notebook is present in the same folder location we also have plot.png if i double click on this we will get nice picture of our plot we can paste this picture in our presentations or word docs and show it to potential customers now comes the most interesting part of this tutorial which is the exercises i have this exercise link in the description box below please try to solve this exercise on your own before seeing the solutions exercise and practice is the only way to get better at data visualization if you have any queries or doubts regarding the content of this tutorial or regarding the audio or video quality of this video please comment down below and i'll respond to it as soon as possible in the next video we will be discussing about dish plots in seaborn